The James Webb Space Telescope, or Webb, has once again expanded the boundaries of our observable universe. Its latest triumph is the confirmation of a galaxy named Mom Z14, existing only 280 million years after the Big Bang. This makes it the most distant galaxy ever discovered, observed at a redshift of Z equals 14.44. But this isn't just a milestone in distance, it's a window into the universe's formative years offering new clues about how the first galaxies emerged from cosmic darkness. In this video, we'll explore how MOEMS-14 was discovered, what makes it scientifically extraordinary, and how it fits into Webb's broader mission of illuminating the universe's earliest moments. Webb's detection of MOM-Z-14 was made possible by its powerful design, a 6.5-meter primary mirror paired with sophisticated infrared instruments. These features are critical for observing ancient galaxies whose light has stretched into the infrared over billions of years due to cosmic expansion. The Mirage Survey, which targets high redshift galaxies, identified MOMZ-14 using deep sky spectroscopy. Spectroscopic analysis revealed characteristic emission lines from elements like hydrogen, nitrogen, and carbon. These lines confirm the galaxy's redshift, a direct measure of how much the universe has expanded since the light was emitted. What sets Webb apart from its predecessors, like Hubble or Spitzer, is its sensitivity. Hubble could only glimpse one galaxy beyond 500 million years post Big Bang. In contrast, Webb has already uncovered dozens, including Mom Z14, only 280 million years into cosmic history. This galaxy is part of a surprising population of bright, ancient galaxies that formed earlier than expected. This challenges the long-standing belief that the first galaxies were faint and sparse. The detection of such a luminous object at this extreme distance suggests that galaxy formation began faster and more energetically than theoretical models predicted. MOM-14 tells us about the unexpected nature of early galaxy formation. Long before the James Webb Space Telescope launched, astronomers anticipated that the universe's first galaxies would be dim, sparse, and forming slowly, not luminous or chemically evolved. MOM-Z14 directly contradicts this idea. Discovered just 280 million years after the Big Bang, its brightness and structure suggest that star formation in the early cosmos was more dynamic and rapid than previously thought. What truly surprised scientists was the galaxy's stellar signature. Its light is powered by stars rather than an active galactic nucleus, AGN, which is typically driven by a supermassive black hole. This absence of a dominant black hole implies that a dense population of massive, short-lived stars is fueling the galaxy's glow. This scenario aligns with theories about the universe's first stellar generations, known as Population 3 stars, believed to form quickly in low-metallicity, high-density conditions. These stars burned hot and fast, seeding the cosmos with the first heavy elements before collapsing into black holes or exploding as supernovae. The galaxy's chemical fingerprint deepens the intrigue. It shows a nitrogen to carbon ratio higher than that found in our sun, an unusual trait. This ratio resembles the elemental patterns seen in the Milky Way's ancient globular clusters, hinting that Mom Z14 might be birthing similar dense star clusters. This discovery offers a compelling bridge between our galaxy's oldest stellar populations and their potential ancestral environments. This connection taps into the broader discipline of galactic archaeology, which seeks to understand the formation of early cosmic structures by comparing them with remnants still observable in our galaxy today. This galaxy thus acts as a time capsule, linking the first stellar bursts of the universe with the star systems we study in our cosmic neighborhood. Another key insight comes from its morphology and chemical classification. It belongs to a category of compact high-redshift galaxies that are particularly nitrogen-rich, 
astronomers are now observing a trend. Compact galaxies at the edge of the observable universe tend to have more complex chemical compositions, while more diffuse, extended galaxies show simpler elemental structures. MOMs 14 is part of a larger narrative that's being rewritten by Webb, one where the early universe appears more complex, structured, and chemically active than ever imagined. Take the discovery of early supermassive black holes. Webb has found black holes in galaxies just 600 to 700 million years old, far earlier than models predicted such massive objects could exist. These observations suggest accelerated black hole growth in the early universe. Possibly driven by dense environments like those seen in this galaxy, Webb has also revolutionized our view of exoplanet atmospheres. It detected water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other molecules in the skies of distant worlds, like WASP-39b and K-218b. These findings help scientists assess habitability conditions and understand the chemical processes shaping planetary environments. On a more structural level, Webb captured never-before-seen details of star-forming regions such as the pillars of creation. These high-resolution images reveal how young stars sculpt and illuminate the gas clouds around them, offering insight into stellar birth mechanisms. Even more provocative is the detection of complex organic molecules, such as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, in galaxies only one billion years after the Big Bang. These molecules are precursors to life as we know it. Their early appearance raises the possibility that life-enabling chemistry began surprisingly soon after the universe cooled enough to form stable matter. Through these discoveries, Webb is transforming astronomy from a discipline of inference to one of direct observation. Instead of guessing what the early cosmos looked like, we're now seeing it unfold. The next phase of exploration will be bolstered by the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, designed to survey wider fields of view. While Webb excels at deep, focused observations, Roman will add statistical weight revealing how common objects like MOM-Z14 truly are. Thank you for watching. Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next journey through space and time.